Hey, what's going on everyone? It's LT Say Messi here coming at you with another Fin Scam video review. Um, and I said I wasn't going to do another video after my last one, but I have to make a video because the, the lie that's circulating around and these leaders refusing to tell you guys the truth because they don't understand what, how to read a smart contract and saying crazy things like, Oh, the $31.6 million could have been from the fees collected. The fees don't go to the company at all. It don't go to the project. It goes to the, the network. Where you're on the Binance Smart Chain, the Ethereum, Tron Network. You know, you get the point. But anyways, before I get to this video, I'd like to say that I'm not a financial advisor. I do not advise one to invest or spend the money. All I do is show opportunities that I believe that can be beneficial to anyone around the world. So with that said, let's get to this video. All right. So as of this moment right now, um, let me see that's not the right one um, let me go right here to doom and bring up the contract for fan talk or fan scale so that way I can uh, try to help you understand what's going on so there's other people that's created other contracts but this was the main one that I was following so let me see if these are showing anything different hmm Interesting because this these was not here before Okay, that's not showing anything as far as the contract balance. Let's click on this one So this one's showing the contract balance, but this is not the one that I was following This is something different uh, of course, but the one oh they copied this one right here. Okay So this is one I was following as you can see the contract balance has gone up a little bit It was at fifty two thousand seventy five dollars yesterday but you know this is still uh bad news for all of you because you can't withdraw your funds right and you know you're going around you try, you're trying to pan on your upline or your leaders and everything like that to give you the right information so that way you can understand what's going to happen going forward but the thing is you know they're saying all the right things but none of you can withdraw and i've been down this road many times before trust me i got the proof to show you go to my youtube channel when I'm going around, I'm telling everyone that, you know, I was involved with a project called CAT. You can see right here, FS Master Gold. Uh, Daisy's still kicking and rocking. You know, that's been the, the longest smart contract running, I think, on the planet pretty much. And, you know, but you can see that I was involved heavily with CAT. I, put, I, lost, I lost my money just like everybody else did. Same thing that CAT did when they launched. Um, they said, you know, months ahead of time, they was going to be doing a, a smart contract migration. Uh, they're gonna be changing things, adding uh, new things and everything like that. And this uh, company is, you know, this project is still around, promoting on, on social media and getting more people into that scam. So that's like when I'm telling you things that fan talk or fan scam is gone. I I'm telling you from personal experience. You know, you're not gonna go inside of a contract if you're gonna do a contract migration. You're not going to come inside of the contract and you're going to withdraw all the money. Okay? So, so that way you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing everything live right now in front of you. So that way you can see that there's no, no uh, falsifying of anything that I'm doing. Alright? So this is Fan Talk. You know, the main contract for y'all. Come down here. Two days and three hours ago. That was over $31.6 million withdrawn. And that was not no transaction fees, people. Don't believe what some of these leaders are saying. It's not transaction fees. The comp FinTalk is not going to collect any transaction fees. They don't own the network. You, if you're using Binance Smart Chain, using Ethereum, Tron, that's what collects the fees. That network. What the, the what FinTalk had was your money. And all that money is gone. So if there was a contract migration going on, they would not withdraw the money. Because the reason being is that you got all of the wallets linked to this contract so in, in order for you to get to the new contract with the current money that you already deposited they need to migrate all of this information from the old contract to the new contract without withdrawing any money you just they simply take the old contract put it into a new contract with the code uh, update and everything like that so they can have all the new wallets what happened to us in cat they kept the money inside the contract it was growing 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 and right before the migration was supposed to happen, they withdrew all the money. And then they said, oh, you, you need, uh, in order for you to get access to your money again, you need to create a new wallet address and link up to a new, a new smart contract. We did that. We didn't get anything. So what they're uh, doing here, 
is they probably gonna have y'all do the same thing. If they do, if they, if they say anything, which I doubt, because you know I'm gonna show you the reason why I doubt that they're gonna say anything. But anyways, in order uh, for you to hopefully get your money back, is if they take the money and put it into a new contract, then you gotta create new wallets, and then that's gonna be a problem in itself, because. They, they won't know who had what inside of their accounts with a new wallet address. Period. I'm telling you from experience, people, listen to me. I'm, you know, because, like, I don't want you to get drugged down this road right along with the so-called leaders in this space that don't know anything about reading smart contracts or anything about DeFi. All right? So, now, the next thing is, here, here's what I, want, I really want to address. You know, I already addressed it a little bit about this smart contract migration, but this is the notification that's being shared around in all the FinTalk community. You, and people was like, hey, I'm not seeing this in the app. I don't have the app, so I can't tell you if it's in there or not. But I know that many people in, the, in this community has already said that it's not in the app. So where are they getting information from? Hazel is the admin in this group i think this is just a regular community that was created and fan talk just named them the, the main fan talk community that's it as you see it's over 107,000 members in this group and uh, uh one of uh, a famous youtuber who calls out ponzi he's in this group you know really heckling people up in here danny the heck hey how, how you doing sir <laughs> i see what you're doing up in here <laughs> but yeah this right here is a scam okay and there's no Things that, that they're saying right here is that we are thrilled to announce that FinTalk's FinSoul platform will officially launch on May 22nd, 2023, Pacific Standard Time. So, FinSoul has launched. Can you withdraw still? Absolutely, you cannot. Okay, FinSoul is FinTalk's first metaverse platform combining a co creative um, AI game, uh, FI, uh, game, game fi, programmable NFTs, metaverse DeFi, offering an unparalleled gaming experience and financial services. Like I said, that right there has been added to the app according to what I've seen in this community chat. You still can't withdraw because the money is gone. Within the Fenso platform, you will find a diverse collection of dozens of exciting Game 5 games, including blockchain, Bitcoin, and various casual games. The range of games available is truly extensive. Upon launch, you will have the opportunity to directly use FTC test tokens to explore and enjoy these games in their entirety. Once the FTC mainnet is officially released, we will transition to using FTC tokens, allowing you to fully immerse yourself in the gaming world of FanSoul. We have utilized advanced technologies such as Unreal Engine 5 and Cocos 2D to develop FanSoul, providing you with captivating 3D and 2D gaming experiences. I'm going to stop right there. I don't have to check this information to see if it checks out or not. I already know it doesn't. But all of you that's reading this this garbage talking about this is what's about to happen, can you verify that they got these partnerships with Fanso uh, with um, FanTalk? Does, does Unreal Engine 5 and Cocos 2D partner up with FanTalk or Fanso? My answer is absolutely not. Okay? So this is going to be providing you with captivating 3D and 2D gaming experiences. As a player, you can forge unique AI companions and NFTs through governance tokens and participate in various game instances and acquire game-related NFT assets within the Metaverse marketplace. Simultaneously, we will open up gameplay editors and APIs to the industry, encouraging creative teams to develop a diverse range of sandbox worlds. So sandbox, that's a real cryptocurrency with its own metaverse uh, uh, network and everything like that I, I guarantee you sandbox is not partnering up with fan talk okay multiplayer competitions casual experiences player social interactions mm or orpg uh, shooting games aerial combat uh, uh, action adventure is uh, interstellar trade colonization city buildings uh, simulation management and prediction games all this sounds beautiful right You're like yes FanTalk is about to come back stronger than ever. All they're doing is having y'all hold on to hope while they get away with the money. Free and clear. That's all they're doing. While y'all sitting here waiting on this, they're already withdrawing the money bit by bit in two wallets. And they're getting away with all the money that y'all had deposited inside the contract. So, 
Dan so built upon the foundation of a dual chain DNA, aims to create a metaverse 2.0 world that is vibrant, meaningful, and valuable. We firmly believe that Fansoul will become a truly enduring metaverse. Perhaps one day, Fansoul will become the second life of our Fantalk users. We sincerely appreciate your ongoing support and attention. Please stay tuned for our launch information and join us in unlocking the exciting world of Fansoul. So like I said, this is what's going on right now in this, uh, that they're passing around in this community. And uh, so people have been sharing information, letting people know like the, the money is gone. And there's people that's in this community that's actually invested in Fantalk that's already accepted the fact that the money is gone. So here it is right here. This is uh, someone on Twitter that had a link. And uh, as a matter of fact, let me pause the video real quick. I'm going to show you that link myself as well. Hold on. All right. Here we are. I open up the link. And it's a uh, CoinCU news article right here. Beware of Morgan DF Fantop. Team may have exit scam with $31.6 million. I reported about this on my own YouTube channel two days ago. As I was like the first one to see this. And I was like, your money is gone. And here is a news article saying the same thing. All right. So it says the team behind the, the key points right here we're going to go over. The team behind Morgan DL, DL Fintalk may have exited scam with 31.6 million USDT in, on BSC. Investors cannot withdraw their funds. Red flags were raised with the use of a well-known brand name, a paid actor as CEO, and bold claims of a 1% daily ROI. The Singapore government and Morgan Stanley previously warned about this investment scheme. Oh, um, let me see. I got to give credit to the author of this. Where's the author at? I can't uh, see the name. It just says Scam Alert. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I give credit to whoever wrote this article and everything like that. Thank, I appreciate you. So here it is. They're, they're using this, uh, this uh, Twitter account right here. Recently, Zach at SBT reported on Twitter about a potential exit scam by the team behind Morgan DFN Talk, an investment scheme that claimed to offer a 1% daily ROI and claimed to be owned by Morgan Stanley. And he goes right here into full details and what was going on. So let's click on this photo and we're going to go right here to the account itself and you can see exactly what's going on. Fan Talk, it went to this wallet. I showed this wallet address. You know as well and then it went to this wallet address then it went to this wallet address this wallet address and uh, this wallet address at the same time you can see this wallet address has been sending funds from everywhere so this this one wallet address right here has been sending money funds to one you know pretty much responsible for one two three four five different ways to send the money out while y'all sitting around waiting on the update to happen this is what's going on behind the scenes that you're not even aware of because you hold on to hope you could have already reported their wallet and frozen the funds. Literally. I did the video for that uh, for, uh, and hope that you would uh, report that to Binance. So that way they can freeze the wallet. But you didn't do that. Okay. And this is what's going on. So they sent into these bridges. They already, uh, you know, like there's already been reports that they went to Tornado Cash. They already got the money cleaned up and they got away with your money for, uh, you know, free. You know, and y'all just sitting there and still, still holding to hope. And people are trying to say that this right here is not real. This happened, people. $31.6 million was withdrawn. Okay? And, you know, so now you go you go back in, into the Twitter. Um, um, I actually, that's, that's my uh, my channel. Uh, let me see. Let me go back here to Fantalk website. And let me pull up the Telegram. Get back over here. And you can see, you know, like uh, people are really starting to get get to get the point right now says um you know people are, are talking about the money is coming back and everything like that the money is gone and uh you'll be able to see and everything like that so that's why people you know you see people cursing and everything like that bs and uh so but the thing is you can come over here you can see that there's no ad man controlling this people are in here promoting ponzi's and other scams and everything like that up in here like crazy uh, so this is a, this is another one that they're spreading around, uh, talking about there's going to be an FTC chain. That's not true either. You know, um, that this, this, this company is not real. It's not legit. How in the world can you believe that company is legit? That was being uh, that had the face of actors controlling it. Come on now. So uh, where is Mr. Danny the Heck at? You know, so that way y'all can give him a follow as well. 
that's why I gotta find you. As you see, I'm not in this group, so I just can't go in here and search for his name. But uh, I want you to see his name so that way you can know what to look for when you search on YouTube. Uh, let me see. I got to get up here quite far, I think. Let me see. What's this? 1137? Yeah, so he was talking really early this morning because he's in New Zealand. I think he is. Uh, where is he? Where is his name at? I got to keep going up. So this right here is what time is that? 11.02 a.m. Yeah, he was talking a lot like 5 o'clock a.m. my time. And uh, let me see. I got to find it real quick. Did I pass it? No, I didn't. Okay. But, yeah. Danny, I just spelled it. D-A-N-N-Y space D-E space H-E-K. That's his name on YouTube. Give him a follow and everything like that. He's up in here trying to gather information from people so he can do a YouTube video. So, if you uh, know that you've been scammed by fan scam, then you want to go ahead and uh, get in contact with him so that way he can try to put some information out. Because he has, um, you know, gotten like a, a, a famous uh, promoter of the Hyperfund project um, locked up behind bars from his videos for for tax evasion or something like that. So, you know, maybe he can do something. And uh, you know, like any other person that's doing any type of investigative uh, reporting on on scams, get in contact with them. You know, so that way they could try to uh, help you guys out and find out who's responsible for this. Not saying that you better get your money back because this is crypto. You know the money is gone, like I already said, and there's no there's no change in the, the fact that you know this right here happened. That's I can come right here. Like, we went to this wallet, and you will see uh, that all that money was transferred out again to this wallet address. And when you look at this uh, this post here, it's showing you. And I, and I went, I showed you the path as well. So this is the current wallet I'm about to go to right now. So let me go back over here and click on it. So you can see the 0x398 and you come back here 0x398 okay so we're gonna come back over here we're gonna click on this wallet address and you will see that uh, they sent more money out from here um, you know from, from this point on now I, well you know he was able to really track it uh, afterwards and really follow the money like crazy so when you come over here to this Twitter post you're able to see from this wallet they were sending transfers. You can see how much they sent out, like uh, you know, out of the, uh, you know to this to this wallet, and then this wallet sent out funds to this wallet, and then this um, and then sent funds to this wallet. But everything was going to a bridge, so that way they will not create any type of alert and get the wallets blocked in the fund, and so they they can have access to the funds. So they used, you know, in the end, one, two, three different wallets to send to two different bridges. Okay, and that's it. That's 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 all. That's the end of the story, people. You know, so people that still try to hold on to hope, I understand it. I've been there. You know, there's three phases to this: is denial, then is hope, and then it's acceptance that the money is gone. That's how it works. That's how it's always gonna work with these scams, especially when you over leverage or you just you know had so much hope for the project to help you become financially free there's nothing that's going to help you become financially free overnight people i don't care if you're talking about oh i won't become financially free and until six or eight months later how can one company that has according to this doom contract almost sixty thousand wallets how can they help sixty thousand people become millionaire multi-millionaires and multi-billionaires in one year it's impossible it's not going to happen people you know, people don't become millionaires and billionaires by accident, of course, because, you know, there's there's some, you know, shady things that they're doing behind the scenes to get that money. But at the same time, they're putting their money into legit investments. This was not a legit investment, period. OK, so I'm not going to continue on anything like that. This video is already long enough because it's, I made this video out of frustration, especially when, you know, one YouTuber who, who's trying to say that it, it was, um, He's not worried out and worried at all and everything like that. It's like I'm trying to help you save face. You're about to lose a whole lot of trust in your community of 20,000 plus followers on your YouTube channel because you're unwilling to learn what is going on with the smart contract. Your the, the ignorance was shown when you said that oh it could have been um, transaction fees that they were drawn. You have no idea what's going on in crypto if you said that. There is no such thing as a company collecting transaction fees with crypto transfers or transactions. 
that's going directly to the network it's not going to the company so stop telling that lie to people all right so that's all i have to say if you like what you heard and saw please like subscribe to the channel also feel free to share this video with other people you know fan talk is done there's nothing you can do about it no one can withdraw money even if you go directly to the contract and um, you know if you go directly to the contract right here and you go to contract and then you go to right contract many of you was using the fan talk scam wallet um, and you won't be able to link this wallet up to this this smart contract that was part of their plan to be able to help uh, prevent many of you from in back directly with the contract and y'all went or y'all went with it because the leaders told y'all to and y'all end up spending more money to buy Android phones and everything like that because the leaders told you to so hopefully this right here is going to help you learn from this experience and you'll be able to know what to do going forward it's time to start following the right people that's going to give you good advice and everything like that although we're not financial advisors but you know it's, it's still the same thing you know it goes hand in hand and everything like that with you following people because you see their success i'm not nearly successful as many of these influencers at all i'm not even close to it okay but you know i'm trying to separate myself and you know and start doing things differently on my youtube channel so that way you can understand as well what to look for in a scam and when you can when you decide to uh, invest your money into something that you feel is legit you know so that's all i have to say for right now thanks for tuning in feel free to share this video to as many people as possible and let's get the word out what's going on really behind the scenes that you're unaware of because these leaders are not willing to show you this information because they know the truth they they don't have any contact with the the, the so-called uh management of this company uh the, the the all the information is coming from the leadership group that's it they have no access to the company at all you know so that's all I have to say for right now. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time in this video. Take care, everyone.